What's going on everyone, Jack here, and today I'm going to be doing another LGG3 ROM video. Uh, this one's quite an interesting one, it's called BlissPop 2.0. It's based off Cyanogen Mod 12, so it's running Android 5.0.2, uh, Lollipop if you didn't know that already. But it has a ton of extra kind of added features, which are pretty awesome. And I won't show you all of them, I'll just show you a few. Uh, I'll show you the wallpaper, uh, talk about how the phone performs, whether there's any major bugs, and kind of whether you should download this ROM or not, um, but you'll be used to that if you've seen any of my ROM videos in the past. If you haven't, I'll link uh, a playlist to them all, uh, at least all the LG G3 ROM videos I've made in the description of this video if you want to look at the other ones I've uh, taken a look at. So um, like I uh, like to do at the start of every video is show you the about phone section. You can see it's actually been customized, but it's got the Blisspop logo at the top and there's Blisspop version 2.0 and Android version 5.0.2 which if you do the easter egg, the normal stuff, I show this in pretty much every video so I won't bother showing you uh, the other easter egg yeah, why not? you can see it's just the signage mod one, nothing too exciting uh, so where the really exciting stuff uh, gets uh, into play is this personalization section so you're probably used to seeing things like home and themes and maybe even equalizer, but here is the Bliss interface, which includes a ton of customization options. And if you're not really sure about uh, routing and putting a custom ROM on your phone, this is kind of the great thing about it. There's just so many different customization options if you download the right ROM. So you can customize your status bar, navigation options. They have things like Pi controls, if you've heard of that. I think Paranoid Android first had that. Um, and if we go back here, there's recent options, so you can see if you go and look at your recent apps, there's that kind of clear all button. You can get rid of that if you don't like it, or you can change it so clear all tasks doesn't get rid of the latest app you're in, or so you can change like the location of it so you can have it in bottom right instead of top right, uh, if you prefer that, because then it's maybe easier to access, I don't know. Uh, lock screen options, there's heads up, power menu, where you can like choose power off and uh, that's for this thing here so if I go to screenshot you can see screenshot now appears there so just tons of customization options so you can make the software exactly how you want uh, same with animation here's toast animations uh, so there's lots of different um, animations to choose from there scrolling modifiers just tons of really interesting things app circle bar which I think lets you swipe it, yeah, that's pretty cool. Although it's kind of ugly in my opinion, but it's useful. Maybe if it didn't have that blue section it'd look better. But I wouldn't be surprised if you could remove that, to be honest. So there's all like kind of the added features, obviously, as I said, I'm not going to show you all of them, because for one it'd be a 20 minute video, but also I don't really want to spoil the enjoyment of you discovering a new ROM for yourself. But there's quite a few extra wallpapers that I haven't seen in Sign Engine Mod before, which is quite nice. Maybe they're in the latest versions of Signage Mod I haven't checked out yet. But yep, yeah, they're pretty cool. Obviously you can do all the Signage Mod themes as it is based off Signage Mod 12. Performance is really good. Uh, I, it's notably quicker than Signage Mod 12 actually, I've been quite impressed by that. Battery life is also a lot better. In the latest build of Signage Mod 12 I was using, battery life was absolutely awful. I definitely have to charge it around kind of 4 o'clock in the afternoon, but that might have been improved since the last time I used Cyanogen Mod 12. But there are some kind of major bugs with this ROM. One is that kind of every so often when I turn on the screen I just can't interact with anything at all, and I actually have to remove the battery and put it back in to use it. And there's also a few other things like app crashes, which are kind of expected if you're using a custom ROM. But this might not be the case by the time you download this ROM, as this is just on the latest version that's available to me. Uh, I think the last time it was updated was February 18th, and today's February 20th. So if you're watching this video in June of 2015, or maybe even a, in a couple of years' time, then there will be an updated version. I'm sure it won't have the same bugs. So if you found this video enjoyable or helpful, please hit the thumbs up button. Subscribe below for more LGG3 and other tech videos. Also comment below what other ROMs you want me to check out on the LG G3. Oh, it doesn't have that blue thing. That's kind of nice. I might actually start using that. You don't even need like an app drawer with that. Anyway, as I was saying, comment below uh, what ROMs you want me to check out in the future, as I'd be happy to do that and make videos about them. 
And that's just about it, so thanks for watching. Bye.